Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. Uh, in this video we are going to work with the register but not with the register page. We are going to see how we can send, uh, make a HTTP request with Axios. I have installed Axios in my view project. And when we send a request, because we are on the front end and Laravel use the sanctum for the authentication, which is the token-based authentication, cookies, session cookies. First, we need to retrieve from the Laravel the cookies, and then we need to send a HTTP request with cookies on the Laravel. Let me just explain you what I mean. First, let me open the Laravel, or yeah, let's leave it here, and let's open the VS Code. I have installed Axios in my machine, so let's open the package.json file and here I have Axios. Then also on the home view, not on the home view, on the app view. So on the app view I have added here the router link uh, and updated the login and register. Okay, so we have here home login register. When we click on the login we have login page, register the register page. Now let's work with this register but let's open the register just the send requests. So right now I'm going to import Axios, import Axios from Axios and then I'm going to say here const uh, register, let's leave this AI, first let's add a name, sorry, name to be John Doe, then the email is going to be, I'm going to say john at doe.com, you can do what you like, password, and also we need to add the password confirmation to be password. Uh, yeah, sorry for that. I'm going to close this, and then yeah, I'm going to say console log response data, cast the error, and console log uh, console error. Yeah, let's just do that and. Uh, Let's close. Then I want to call the register and just to show you that we have called that, I'm going to console log here uh, register. Okay, I'm going to save and let's see. Let's open the browser, inspect the element, and go to the console here. Yeah, we have register as you can see, but we can go back and click here again. And yeah, we make we have here registering just. I think, yeah, instead of API out, we have only the API slash register. So if I open the backend here and just say artisan route list, we have, yeah, slash API slash register. We are okay here. We sent the uh, name, email, and password, and password confirmation. And here we say console log data or the error. And right now, we have this uh, error. Okay. If I go to network, go to login, register, and then we have 404 not found. And why 404? Not 3000. 8000. Sorry about that. So let me, yeah, now we have 419, which is the uh, CSRF token mismatch. So first we need to get the token from the Laravel and how we can do that? We can make a get request on this sanctum slash CSRF cookie. So let's do that. Let's say here await and I'm going to use axios dot get not post localhost 8000 slash sanctum slash csrf cookie. I think we're okay now. Let's save. Let's uh, come here again. And let's go to network first. And we're to clean, go to login and register. Yeah, we make a get request on this csrf cookie. And let me just zoom it uh, this for you. Okay, so we make a, we made a post request, a get request of csrf cookie. And if I go to storage, cookies we don't have any cookie here we make that and we have the value here and for the register we have 419 the same 
the CSRF token mismatch. Now, when we use the axioms, we need also to say here with credentials the true. And let me just open also the Laravel, the backend. If I go to config uh, course.php, we have here supports credentials to be true, which expose the cookies header to the front end. And now on the front end, we use for the artist, we use this with credentials to true. And right now, if I go back and let's clean this, let's go to login because, yeah, now we have the uh, cookies. But if I now I'm going to look, I'm on the login, as we can see, if I refresh, we don't have cookies. So when we go to register, now we get the cookies. Very good. But what about the post request to the register? So if I click here, the same thing, we have the CSRF token mismatch. Okay, and we have added, we have added the cookies. But let's say, let's add also here this on the access post to the API register. The with credentials that's true. Maybe this didn't help. I know where is the problem, but I have. I'm going to do it this way because I think you can understand better to show you the errors. Okay, so I have added now again the with credentials that's true on this Axios post to slash API register. And let's see. Let's go to the login. Go back or let's clean the. Let's delete this. And let's go to register now. The same thing on the register. We have CSRF token mismatch. Here we have the cookies. So we have a problem. And the problem is, let's open the Laravel here. So laravel.com. And with a search for the Sanctum, Laravel Sanctum. And here, let's find with uh, x s r f token to be true so we need to add also with credentials to true and this with x s r f token to true so i'm going to copy this and let me just come here and as you can see we have here a duplicated code so instead of this we can say axios defaults with credentials to true and also access defaults with access RF token the true and then remove this from here also remove this from here and let me just say axios dot defaults dot base URL to be this localhost 8000 and remove now that and I think now we are more okay so let's save this Let's go on the browser. I'm going to clean how to remove this one now. Let's go on the view project storage. Yeah, if I refresh, we are on the login. Nothing changed. If I come here now and uh, on the register, click. Now, as you can see, we make a post request on the register and we have 201, which means 201 created. And of course, if I open the database, we have a user. Okay, so let me just go back and I'm going to say here uh, artisan migrate fresh to remove everything from the database. Also on the storage, I'm going to go and delete everything. Go to login. Refresh here. We don't have on the login, we don't make a get request to get the cookies. Also on the network, I'm going to clean everything. Now, if I go to register, we make a get request to CSRF cookie and then a post request to the register user. We have 201, which is mean is the resource is created, and also here the user has been created as well. Okay, what if I go back? Now the user has been created, but we have if we make a, again the API uh, post request to this one, we have the same email. And let's see, remove everything again from here. Go to login. Yeah, we are on login. And go to register now. We have 4 
uh, and on the response we have the message the email has already been taken okay friends that's it all about uh, this video how we can uh, customize the axios to send the correct uh, header on for get requests or for post requests on Laravel backend. Now, if you like such a video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, uh, share with your friends, and see you in the next video. All the best. Thank you very much.